How's it going everybody? I wanted to go over my tire hoist real quick just to show how my spare tire is brought up and down from the roof of Starflight. This is a canvas bag that was made by an upholstery shop locally and it's made out of a canvas that is used for the roof of a convertible. So it's an, an exterior material, it's very thick and it should last a really long time. Um, it was custom cut to fit around the tire hoist and it lives on top of the roof. I had a top and bottom vent sewn in so that it could breathe and let out moisture. It's a, a boat winch for bringing a boat up into the front of a trailer. A one inch steel bar that is acts as the uh, pivot point and the mount to the roof. And this hoist, the actual hoist, the yellow part here, which is made by a company called OZ Lifting Products LLC. It's ozliftingproducts.com. Up front here, I have a four inch rubber boat roller. Um, this is something that you would find on a trailer that the Vinos would roll up on, on a jet ski or a small boat. Um, plenty of working load on this for what I'm doing and uh, it has a nice galvanized finish on the frame so it should last a long time. I just keep it snug and tight around the roller with the winch ribbon grabbing itself when it's stowed to keep it rattle free and uh, keep it nice and clean and tight. When you want to release it, now this winch is a four to one and it can go in forward and uh, reverse. So you want to just pull on a little bit to free it up. You can let out a little bit of slack, unhook it. and away you go to lower it down to your tire. Now, one thing to note with the boat winch is that you can put it in the middle so it doesn't make any noise, but watch out for that handle because it will run away on you. In order to secure the bolt roller to the hoist, I use these traditional two inch U-bolts, but I upgraded the nuts to grade eight nylock. The actual boat winch is made by TR Industrial. It's a 1200 pound working load and it says capacity is not made for lifting humans. So no rides for the homies, but it will definitely lift the tire up with no problem. This is a four to one ratio. So although the spare tire is 150, 160 pounds, once you hook it up and use this cranking action, it's actually quite easy to lift it up and lower it down at a safe speed. And the way we fasten the hoist to the roof safely is with this one inch solid steel bar that goes through this sleeve and then fastens to the receiver on the roof. And that's really all there is to it, folks. If you want to get your tire up and down from your roof rack safely and somewhat economically, that's a, this is a really good option. Again, um, I'll link all these parts down below. They're common parts that you can find anywhere on the internet. Uh, lo local hardware store, boat supply. West Marine probably has a lot of this stuff, um, but it really wasn't that much to put it together. And um, although I did do some welding, uh, you can find a local welder and I'm sure you could probably build this bracket in another way that would not require welding or maybe find something that was already put together. If you're making a hoist and this video helped you out or you did something differently, leave it in the comments below. It might help somebody else on YouTube on their journey making a DIY tire hoist. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. We'll see you on the road and catch you next time.